Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khaled Maidan. In this video, you're gonna see either myself or my colleague Phil taking you through a real-time assessment of a particular joint. Now, the reason we're doing this video is so you can get a really good appreciation for the order in which you can complete your test. It will make memorizing the actual assessment a lot easier and it will allow you to have more time to think about your findings when you're going through it with your patient. In these videos, you may not see as much detail about handling or positioning, but of course you can go through our individual videos, such as knee active range of movement or shoulder passive range of movement, to get as much detail as you need. All right, so let's get into it. So now we're going to go through an objective assessment run through for the ankle joint. So if you just keep yourself relaxed, we're just gonna have a little look at your posture and your foot posture in particular. Okay, if you're happy to pop yourself onto your back facing the ceiling, please. Okay, if we can just bend this knee up as much as possible. And as we go through, just let me know if you get any pain or problems with any of these at all. We're just going to have a little feel for some key structures around your ankles and your calves, etc. And your subjective assessment should be guiding where you're going to feel. Okay, if we can just bend this one up a little bit. Just gonna feel in the calf muscle. And on the other side. Okay, great. Can I get you to pull your toes and your ankle up towards you as far as you can go? Okay. And then if you can point this foot down as far as you can go. Okay. And then can I, I'm gonna show you on this foot. Can you do this motion? with this one please and again I'll show you on this one can you do this movement on this one please and we're just going to do the same operation on this one so if you can pull your toes up towards you keep that there and then point your foot down as far as you can go and relax and then on this one can you do this motion And then on this foot, this motion. And relax. Okay, this time I'm gonna do all the movements for you. So try not to join as best as possible. And again, any pain or problems, let me know. Okay, so next we're gonna do some muscle tests. So all I need you to do is push against me. I'll let you know when I'm ready, okay? So from here, can you push me away hard as you can, please? Brilliant. And then if you can pull your toes up towards you, that's it, with your ankle, keep that there for me. Don't let me move you. Okay, and then we're gonna bring you into this position here. Hold that there for me, don't let me move you. And if you just bring your foot in a little bit and push this hand out to the side, fantastic. Again, we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we're just gonna bring your foot up a little bit to start with, okay, and push me away. Brilliant. Pull your toes up towards you. Keep it there for me, don't let me move you. Fantastic, just bring your foot in a little bit, keep it there for me. And from that position there, push this hand out to the side. Perfect. And so that's your basics, you run through the stuff you fundamentally need to do. From here, as with all the other things, you can look at functional movements, gait, whatever else needs to be included, and of course, your special tests. And that completes our real-time objective assessment. 
Once again, I hope that this video has given you a good understanding of the order in which you can complete your tests. If you want more information about the details of each specific test, check out our individual videos. For example, lumbar spine palpation or ankle resistive tests. Thank you so much for joining us once again on Clinical Physio, and we'll see you soon.